Bobby, thank you so much. Now, in this week's Tank of Gas Getaway, we have a special story that captures the sights and sounds of the Upper Klamath Canoe Trail. NBC5 Scott G and photographer Mike Porter have a treat for your ears. The Upper Klamath Canoe Trail is, in a word, gorgeous. Our tank of gas photographer, Mike Porter, knew exactly what he was paddling into, so he brought the good camera. But as you see the magnificent scenery of the Upper Klamath Canoe Trail, I'd like you to listen to the Upper Klamath Canoe Trail. Hear what I mean? Those are the sounds of over 200 species of birds, a calm breeze blowing through the lilies and reeds, and the crisp but gentle sound of Mike's expert J-stroke as his paddle breaks the water's surface. Oh, Mike, you just ruined the mood. The camera's fine. Along the trail, there are hundreds of clusters of freshwater cattail marshes, perfect nesting grounds for waterfowl. The shorelines are lined with deciduous and evergreen trees. In the distance, Mount McLaughlin and the Cascades. And the water? Well, the water reflects everything like a mirror. Canoers call it paddling the sky. The longest canoe trail is about nine and a half miles. Two canoeists and one canoe can paddle about two miles an hour, so, well, you do the math. If you're gonna do the full route, it's gonna take you a while, so plan accordingly. Best time, early morning. The trail is marked, but poorly marked in some places. The signs are decades old. One blogger who paddled the whole route said it's probably not for beginners. A bit easy to lose your way, get stuck in a current. Start with one of the four shorter trips. The Rocky Point Resort rents canoes and kayaks. No need to call ahead. They say they've got plenty of them. But you can call them anyway to get more details about the best routes. <laughs> Scott G. Have a good one. NBC5 News.